Hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron with the Detail Coat. Do you have a dirty car? Well, reach out to us. We have a few mobile trucks where we can come to you and we do have a shop as well. So book your appointment at thedetailco.com. Use the code FELOCICO23 and receive 10% off. See y'all later. Hey everybody, it's your boy Loser Lou. It is August 3rd, 2023. It's like what, 1020? PM, it's like 90 degrees outside, it's hot as fucking balls, I, I believe the world is boiling, I think that's what they declared it, I'm being serious too, <laughs> I, I googled it, <laughs> I got some homies here tonight, Uh, got my boy uh, Francisco right here, they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, Instagram, Francisco Cortez 210, and I have Kozer, yeah, Ekoser, E-K-O-S-R, they want to get a Instagram. hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Ekoser, E K O S R, uh, Instagram. That's about it. So, we've all been planning this event. Uh, what, August 26, 2023, at Digital Pro Lab? Yep. Uh, three weeks away now, uh, 23 days. Shit came fast. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, I remember yeah, we were yeah. just like, it was like spitballing. Yeah. And now, yeah. like, it's fucking go time. Yep. yep, yep. If, uh, I like the promotion that, that we're doing for it. That's kind of cool. Word. Yeah. It's that was a, that was a pleasant surprise. A friend of mine texted me like, hey, uh, why were you staring at me on like 281? <laughs> <laughs> so you're right, they knew? Crazy. They recognized your eyes? Yeah, dude, yeah. Okay. My boy Zerktronic, he was just oh, like, okay. he's all, yeah, yeah. what the fuck, Lou? Like, I saw you on the other side of the highway, and I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> that's the, that's the, I felt like somebody was watching me. <laughs> yeah, you can't miss those motherfuckers. Yeah, that's dude, that. yeah. Like... Yeah, I really <clears> like that. Uh, what's crazy is I, this morning I saw the the litter pickup, like the people that clean the highways. In front of him? Yeah, so I fucking went around a couple times waiting for them to go take it down. But I would have the filmed them cleaning in front of it. That's cool. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I mean, it's off 281. Yeah, 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 yeah. So dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. I pulled over the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulled it. over, did a cartwheel. I figured you'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was cracking up. That was a, that was a pleasant surprise. Tight. All right, so... It's called Unseen 210. Unseen. Yeah, that's the name of the show. And how many how many photographers are there? Uh involved or artists? Involved. Twelve. So they're showing to- twelve people's works. Uh One Love, Carmen Pena, Sam Cook, Scott Gleason, uh Shot by Chubbs, Keith Hernandez, Ahmad Jackson, Enrique Nagarete, Exit Seven Films, uh Hannah Har- Harborn. Did I, did I say that? Did I mess up her last I name? It's Harbor. Harbor, my bad. Harbor. Sorry about that. Tristan Boyles, Luis Preciado, John Hendrick, what up, John? Absidy Contreras, and of course, myself, loser. The loser. <laughs> this guy named Lou. <laughs> we're, show, we're showing some things off. Um, yeah. We submitted images. They chose the images. We, um, cho- we chose the artists. There we go. Well, yeah, yeah, they, they yeah. chose the artist first. Here, go go about the process. Talk about the process, yeah. bro. So we started talking like in May. I want to say we started having conversations. When you say we, who's we? Me, Amanda, Francisco, uh, Courtney. Shout out to Courtney. Uh, Dom was there. Uh, Larry Martinez. Kind of crook. Uh, what up, crook? Yeah, what up, crook? That was back in May, I believe. It was around Cam. I, I don't know what Cam's around. Uh we were all busy. Francisco was throwing the light catcher show. Uh, we were just kind of going back and forth with like marketing ideas and kind of uh, just thinking of cool shit to do. And I think it kind of just evolved from that. Uh, started off as a marketing thing is like, hey, let's go put some shit up. Let's, you know, we're a print shop. So obviously, you know what I do. So it kind of went from there. And then, you know, just being inspired. Uh, definitely a lot of inspiration from, you know, Francisco and the light catchers and seeing the the dope shit they're doing, you know, with the real stuff on the east side and, you know, not so dolled up and, you know, the, the yeah. cute side of San Antonio. And yeah, man, every, shit. every time I go out there to shoot with them, I find I find a bullet somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's Believe right. It. That first time you went out. Oh, and then, yeah. the, and then the second time, MLK, yeah, yeah, when we were on the okay. march, like, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Like, every time, every time, it's crazy. Yeah, it is wild, man. So, yeah, I think it just kind of came from there, man. It, 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 it evolved. It, uh, it just kind of got... Know as everyone chi- chimed in with their ideas, it kind of just yeah. evolved in, into what it is now. Yeah, I, th- I think like the, the basically the first two meetings are just I'm not sure we got anything done, but kind of like let everything. <laughs> yeah, I felt like a waste of time, and I, I, I think they heard me and 
there was alcohol, so me yeah. and Francisco started talking shit. Like, well, you know what we think, and you know, after that second and third one, it, you know, no, I think, it's 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 been fun. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely like, it it was cool, uh, you know, previewing previewing everyone's images that that are going to be shown, you know, and yeah. the fact that like, <clears throat> I I, you said we could talk about all of it. I love how everyone's like, pictures are going to be on different mediums. That's that's yeah. fucking cool. Yeah, we definitely wanted to touch on all the you know layers of. Of San Antonio, it's a lot more than you know the Alamo and the Tower and the same stuff. No, I mean no disrespect to anyone that shoots this stuff, but you know, I, I working at the lab, I've seen thousands and thousands of images. You know, the same shots, the same stuff. So I, I saw a way, you know, we could definitely help other people and you know, kind of get everyone out there, which is you know really cool. Yeah, man, this is interesting. It's fun. Yeah, I think it's like Alex pointed out. I thought I thought that was really cool from the beginning. Is that it wasn't a open call, you know, or anything like that. Also, logistically, that seemed like a fucking nightmare too. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Um, but I think, like, you know, those first couple of meetings, it was really like deciding, like, what the message is going to be, almost like what's um, what the goal of the show is, right? Before any other details, like, why are we doing this? Yeah. And then from there, I think it was like, okay, well, obviously, the artists that we select that are selected are going to be, they're going to make or break the show. Right. And then kind of deciding on those, everybody putting their opinion in, you know, obviously everybody, everybody put names in the hat kind of thing, but not everybody got chosen. But I think as a group, it, we chose the artists because those are the artists that represent San Antonio, right? Like, um, and that's the point, right? And scene is, is meant to, to kind of show the different perspectives in the city, you know, especially in, in, I think, especially like in a space like Digital Pro Live that's over on the north side. Right, not a lot of people venture. Well, not a lot of people like us venture. Yeah, yeah. You know, over there. I mean, I, I, I walked out the very first time I ever walked in there. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. I and, told I told him into that story. <laughs> yeah, no. I think we we've all kind of had similar experiences. I think especially because also like the way it was on before, and then some of us older people, if you have a, uh, well, not older, but you know, like not kids. Like if you you remember the way camera exchange was not too long ago, it was like a fucking creepy ass vibe. You know what I mean, like. I don't know if it's the same owners or not, but it's changed a lot, right? So then you had that all kind of like in the same part of town. So yeah. you're kind of like, like, I don't want to mess with that, you know, uh, mentality. So. Yeah, but the, what, what they do to you at Cambridge Exchange? <laughs> Dude, I, man, every time when just I was kid, going... Just jokes, just jokes. <laughs> No, nah, like they always, you know, act like you're gonna steal something, man. Oh, especially, pff, dude, you know. I get that. I get look, look at me. I get that everywhere. Yeah, I go. but it was, you know, now they have like young folks and and people of color in there. But it yeah, used yeah, to be it, like, it's like it's been it's been pretty good there for the past dudes, like five you know years. I, mean? yeah. been, it, I know what you mean. Um, and and so that was that was the vibe, and then so I think a lot of people stayed away from it, you know, because of that. So it's kind of nice to see that's changed for whatever reason. And then you know you have, you know, like Amanda at Digital Pro Lab really like making an effort to to try to make people feel welcomed and, yeah. you know, and, and really kind of show people that they're there to, like, really go the extra mile and get you what's best for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. They help you out. The other day, yeah. uh, uh, Rob, Robbie Robbie sat there and... Robbie. <laughs> he held my hand, printed all these fucking pictures out. <laughs> Hell yeah, thanks, Rob. <laughs> that was awesome of him. He didn't need to do that. I think yeah. he stayed, like, ten, 10 minutes after, like, helping me out. Robbie's tight. Robbie's one of our newer employees. Yeah. He's real tight, yeah. He shot then he did a flip. Yeah, yeah, he, he works with the Spurs. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like really the high nice team guy. or what? Yeah, 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 I think oh, like the high team. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a it's a di- diverse bunch there now. It, it definitely is a diverse bunch. I mean, it was, I could tell you it was hard to choose the artists, too. Oh, really? Like, mm. Fuck yeah, man. There's so many, you know, dope artists in town. Uh, and trying to be like, ah, uh, you know, we want this guy, but we can't. You know, there's only so much room. Uh, uh-huh. And trying to like you know represent everywhere, and you know this this show definitely doesn't represent all of San Antonio. Uh-huh. You know, we're not trying to say this is San Antonio. It's yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Different perspectives, stories out of SA that are you know they're just a, a little more unique and, and creative. That would normally be looked over. I feel like my exactly, stuff always gets looked exactly, over. Unseen. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 man. I mean, there's a lot of you know there's a lot of deeper talks we had about you know I felt like there's a lot of gatekeeping in the city, and you know. Uh, you, you you show up somewhere and they're not necessarily going to show you stuff just by the way you look or you know we, we don't talk the same or we don't you know we, we show up smelling like weed and just different things like that you know and it's like you know we're creative too just because you got kind of a a feel about us don't mean nothing and that's kind of a, another basis of the show is kind of like showing everyone and like hey we can be who we are without having to you know 
dumb it down or you yeah. know, anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Be I'm like stereotypical shit, you know. Like. So how many images are being shown? Oh, we made him think. Shit, like forty to fifty. Forty I'm to say. fifty. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, we got. And what? What kind of? What kind of like? Like what? Do, what are you displaying them on? Everything. Uh, what do you mean everything? Premium. Uh, what do you mean by I premium? Mean, so I don't want to get all technical. So, but uh, like gas, premium gas. Yeah, that premium. <laughs> yeah, you know the top shelf. Everyone's getting the top shelf. Uh, <laughs> like, like explain, explain, because you know, like um, you, you know, know when it, it gets a little. You know, there's there's photography. Like there's, you're put, you're putting stuff on like the windows, right? Yeah, we got we're gonna be vinyling windows. We're, we're we're going all out. We're 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 taking all the rules of photography in your typical gallery show, and we're kind of throwing them out the door. And and like, like what other kind of mediums are? The, is, is I mean, we got everything from metal panels. Uh, we're gonna have large scale printing, forty by sixties. I mean, we're it, it's gonna be a very impactful show. We're trying to you know we want to give everyone another basis of the show. You know, is is working at the lab is. I notice, uh, you know, a lot of people that print big can afford to print big. You know what I mean? And that's, they're not necessarily the, the best skilled people, you know. And we got, you know, I got homies that I, I know around me that are really skilled with the camera, but have never printed big because they can't afford to print big. You know? Okay. And that's kind of the basis of, like, giving, not saying that anyone in the show can't afford to print big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, like no, no, no. I, 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 I get You know what, what I'm saying? But giving the opportunity to see your work big, to see it on a, a scale of, like, with only people that are a little more established and, and you know, can afford to print that big. Uh, and that's, you know, that's all thanks to Digital Pro Lab, of course, and Amanda trusting us to, you know, showcase all these people and, and our, you know, the stories of, of what we're going to tell. So on August 26th. Yeah, August 26th. I was saying the 28th for the longest fucking time. And <laughs> Amanda was on my ass. August 27th to 10 p.m. That's funny because uh, 20, 28th is my lucky number. Hey, like Maybe that's, that's so funny, man. <laughs> two days after, but yeah, but yeah um, it, it'll be up for a month too after. So uh, it's just gonna be running at the shop. Yeah, yeah, we'll have it running yeah. at the lab. We'll have most of the stuff up. I mean, some things will change, but for the most part, it'll it'll be showing up at the lab. Yeah, yeah. like a month and a half, right? I think uh, until October fourteenth. Yes. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, it should be a pretty cool night too. I mean, the the way that Alex and Amanda had described it, it's more of a like an immersive experience. Like, what's right? going on? Not just, like, four walls, but, you know, like Alex mentioned, like, pretty on different types of, of, of mediums and just kind of creating a different layout and then events outside. So there's going to be food. There's going to be music. Uh, I know there's efforts to try to try to, try to um, kind of keep it cool. This is still Texas, right? <laughs> so yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, August yeah. 26, even though it's 7 to 10. Middle of August. Uh, middle of August, uh, having different vendors come in. Uh, for example, I know that that Slow Boogies, which Light Catchers works with, is going to be out there, and they're they're a nonprofit on the east side, uh, where they, they have the the kids in the neighborhood, the teenagers in the neighborhood, brew their own root beer, and then sell root beer floats, and the kids keep most of the profits. So there's going to be a little bit of everything. So even if um, because I I know that one of the problems in, in scene work is sometimes it's too packed in there, right? And then so it's like you can't absorb it, you can't you know walk back and and see the whole piece. So that's something that I know that. They're trying to avoid, and so try to keep the numbers small in there. So that means that some people might be outside, but people are going to be comfortable. People are going to be entertained, right? Yeah. And then so we want to give the work justice by letting people experience it the way that it should be experienced. What music's going to be there? Well, uh, so uh, we'll have some DJs there. I know we'll definitely have some DJs outside. Uh -huh. uh, inside, we'll have uh, Larry Martinez. We'll be uh, we'll have a video up. So oh, we'll have okay. music in there, in kind of in that immersive, you know, feel. Uh, outside, I'm not, I'm not sure who we got overall, but I know, I know. I've heard are. a few things thrown around. I don't want to say anything because I don't, I don't. I'm, I'm not in that era or that oh, part okay. of the. Oh, I'm okay. on the the marketing side oh, a little okay. bit more. Okay, so okay. The vendors and stuff, I'm not too familiar with. I think like Dom and Courtney are definitely taking care of that. <clears throat> yeah, man, it's a, it's been fun like hyping the show up. It's like wild. I like I, it's. It's been cool. Like I like how y'all approached it. Y'all approached it differently. Yeah, yeah. And that's you know that's thanks to Amanda fucking giving us the. Yeah, go ahead and do what y'all want. You know, uh, you know there could be. I got a few more things coming in the next few weeks that. Uh, I mean, you obviously saw what Rendon's did and, and what we're doing there, and we just want to share more light on. You know, we want more people to see that wouldn't usually see it. You know, and kind of something that's real, just. Bam, in your face, you know, and we're going to do a lot more of that next three weeks. <clears throat> what you been up to? Nothing. 
But I was gonna say, hold on. Um, Marta, <laughs> you weren't talking about because I know he called you too. But uh, about Jaime, like calling you up and oh, word, yeah. Because yeah, I think that, that's really place. cool, man. He gave both of us a call. But go ahead. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was a, definitely an intimidating call. Uh, what? He's a nice <laughs> guy. Jaime, yeah, he's, he's so nice. nice. But it's like respect, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's a it's oh, a, okay. a respect thing, you know. I don't I don't think he realizes how much we, you know, appreciate him and, and yeah. respect him, you know. And, and to get that call from him was kind of like it should, you know. That's dope. It, it was mostly just the call of like appreciation and, and you know to know he felt it made him feel some type of way. So it was like in a good way. So it, it, you know it was it's a beautiful thing to see. Yeah, man, that's a, that's the that's a sick spot where you put those. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, man. It's, it's it's cool to see everyone come together, man. That's that's the coolest part is everyone coming together with their perspectives and you know we all got shit to say. We all got you know the way we feel and you know we're definitely being able to say that. Yeah, that's, it's kind of, I, I think that call is, is really cool because it's kind of like the, the whole point of of the show, right? And then to, before anybody, like an audience sees those images, you know, but Jaime himself being like, yeah, it really made me think about myself and like my eyes and, you know, what I've been through, you know, where I'm at, yeah, things like that. I'm like, you know, that's freaking poetic right there. Actually, he wrote a poem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he wrote a poem. He wrote a poem. He literally made him yeah, write a poem, yeah. man. It was yeah, he was like, I'm going to take my Instagram account out of retirement and uh, uh, write a poem and, and then, uh, you know, with the blessing of Alex, like, post, share the, the video. That's sick. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I didn't know he did that. Like, yeah, he just did it, like, yesterday, day before yesterday. Yeah, it was I'm going to look, I'm gonna have to look for that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all about eyes, perspectives. Um, yeah, like Alex said, we're not covering everything in San Antonio, right? That's impossible, but. Yeah. I mean, this city's so huge, and it's, it's fucking growing. It's so huge, growing. like two and a half million people, you know. And there's so many dope motherfuckers right now. They like, really there's are. so many fucking people. They really are, man. But I think, like, everybody that, that, that we picked, the artist, was somebody that, that has been doing solid-ass work, you know, and maybe just hasn't gotten, I mean, at some levels, yes, but not fully, like, the flowers that they deserve. And because things are built out of, like, networks and who you know and how you look and people's perceptions of you, Maybe that sometimes like it just doesn't it just doesn't pop off the way it does. So it's like nah, these people like this like we, we need to we need to show Excuse show their work, you know. And and that's crazy to me the the, the different artists like they're they're all over the place, you know. Like there's yeah, there's it's, some a, it's artists, a super diverse group. It's a super diverse group, man. Yeah. In, in, <laughs> in every way, and there's some artists that are similar, and and it's been really cool too. You know, Alex and Amanda then thinking about you know well, all three of us so like you know how are they going to be displayed? You know like what. What works well together? What juxtaposes, you know, in the best way possible? What size? What medium? You know, eye level elevated on the ceiling. So it's, 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 it's honestly like very impressive how much, you know, time and energy has has gone into this. And I don't expect people the night of the show to like you know really realize it, but it's like damn, like nothing has not been done with like a purpose. Like everything has been thought out. You know, two or three, two or three times. Nothing's gonna happen like on accident. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, we don't want no gimmicky show. Or nothing. You Man, know. I'm just super anxious to see my work. How, how y'all were describing it? Like that's just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like Alex said, that size, right? Printing that size is like, yeah, man, sick. It's, it's, you know, you already got sick ass images, and then, I mean, even if you print something that's not great, you blow it up. It's fucking dope. Yeah, <laughs> then so it's something that's already solid. And hardly any of us like ever get to do that, man. Yeah, we're yeah. such a digital world now. No yeah. one really, no one even prints stuff anymore. No, no, we, like, we re- every, everyone makes things, different. you know, the size of their phone screen. Right. And that's why I try to stress, man. Is if you're gonna be a photographer, you're gonna shoot some shit. Like, especially when you're shooting shit that other people can't see or can't be at, you know. And you really in that? That's the whole point of it. Is like a lot of people we chose were in their industries or in the culture they're in. They're in it. It's not someone showing up, going to shoot it, and, you know, taking It's not the, an outsider's taking perspective. The photos, yeah, 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 yeah. Insider's yeah. perspective, definitely. Yeah, for not, sure. Dude, that's why I really like Gleason's work. Like, I'm... Yeah. His work is sick. Like, I... It's a yeah. whole different perspective of military life. Oof. Yeah. And, you know, I grew up semi-military. My parents were military. So, like, being able to see these people actually, like, have fun, like, see it on film. Yeah. Like, it's just... It's 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 cool. It's insane, yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Gleason. Yeah, man, I I, I really love all the artists, man. They're all twelve artists are, you know, 
very strong work. Yeah, man. I mean, John pump, always pumps out, you know, good solid work. Hendrick. And then uh, um, Enrique, like I just, I love, I love, I love. Yeah, shout out to Exit. That's the homie right there, man. And then uh, Keith, Keith. Shout by Chubbs. Yeah, yeah, man. He has, he has a. <sighs> Me and him, are, our styles are kind of close. They kind of overlap, but they're so different at the same time. Word. Like I, I love mean, it. I like that. I like okay. that a lot. Yeah, man. I'm I'm really happy to be showing with these people. And um, you know, Sam Sam's one of my favorite photographers. Oh, for sure, man. And Carmen Carmen's like that's yeah, one love. That's like my older sister. You know, that's like my sister right there. She's she's an amazing lady. Yeah, I've amazing. known her for forever. And everything she's done for the culture, and you know, yeah, I mean, man. Like I'm, like, I'm I don't know her very well, but I know her work. Very I'm much, you know? yeah. that's how impactful she. I'm happy to be showing with you know people that like I've come up with over the years. Word. It's cool, man. It's cool to, you know, bring everyone together and, and kind of have this, you know, years after everything. And, you know, it's 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 cool. It's a cool show, man. It's I'm, I'm excited for it. Like, it's 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 a little nerve wracking. You know, we got three weeks to we're kind of talking all this up and doing all this. And, and, you <laughs> yeah. know, we, it's definitely intimidating, but I, I'm excited for the challenge. Yeah, man. We got to prepare for are. it, man. Yeah. Yeah, like, man. I'm, I, I'm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be wild. Yeah. It's going to be wild. Good man, it's getting traction. Yeah, and definitely. being part of also like Fort September Day. Yeah, that, that's that, super cool. There's that, that, so there's that yeah. other layer to it, which is, you know, that's that's gonna add to it. And I think it's kind of helped like guide things. It's like kind of a, well, I don't know. Man is like super professional and stuff as it is. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm a little all over the place, but kind of <laughs> keeping <laughs> keeping like Fort September in mind, then it's like okay, you know, kind of keeps us on track. But yeah, yeah I mean, Fort September Day or not, like all these artists are dope. You know, going back to his artists, like, I mean, I, I got to talk on, like, Louis Preciado, man. His stuff is sick. I don't know if he, he does mostly film stuff. He has the series that's on his grandparents. It's just, like, yes, so fucking yes. tender and beautiful and intimate. And it's close. It's yeah, close, yeah. man. Yeah, and like, you can feel how close it is. Yeah. Yep. And it's that, that storytelling. And some of the artists are very much, you know, strong on their individual Im images. And then we have some that are definitely more on the story storytelling side of side of things you know so it's a mix of, of them in that way too and like you said you know scott gleason military of course san antonio Milici military city usa right so uh yeah. that made all the sense uh we even got absolutely contreras 12 year old light catchers east side you know yeah. so that's that's gonna be cool i'm really glad that she's she's able to take part of it um Super dope, talented kids. Like she's gonna replace all our asses sooner or later. To yeah. be honest, <laughs> like, hell and yeah, that, and that's the point. But like, man, she joined uh, Light Catchers late, man, in the year, probably like three months before the year was over, and she just like basically passed everybody up. Wow. And then she's a boss. Hey, too. those kids were on it too. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, she's a boss, man. She um, she knows how to talk to people too. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but like she was talking to the, the mayor. Yeah. You know, like whatever he's like showing him the plan the kids came up with, like to reduce gun violence. We had a meeting with the mayor, uh, maybe about a month ago. And you know, I didn't really think about it later, but I was like, Oh shit, yeah, you know what? We did just like sit down with the mayor in his <laughs> office. Hey man, <laughs> you don't like it. Wild, and bro. just like went through a plan, like a, a solid plan, like and him listening and like feedback and all that. I was like, Oh shit, that's bro. Cool. Be, because of you, I was able to take a selfie with the bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was dope. Up, yeah, yeah that was cool. He showed up to your see, yeah. It was crazy to see him there. Yeah. Really yeah, man. And then uh, actually just today they called us about. Shout, shout out Mayor Nuremberg. <laughs> yeah, man. No, he's, he's cool. Uh, but yeah, no, then, then they're also going to start doing a, like a, a buyback program for, for guns. Right. And that will happen like in uh, November, December. So they what, want to give away tacos. Shoot, I wish, man. <laughs> but they want the kids to be like on a like a a collective, a committee, you know, as part of it. So it's like, I mean, those so, those are the kids who, sh you know, they should be yeah, talking man. about it. They're in the middle of everything. Yeah, like, yeah, then you know, talk about perspectives. You yeah, know, exactly. Like, I mean, those. I just remember going there and they they knew what gentrification was. I didn't know what that was until I was like <laughs> seventeen, eighteen. Yeah. You know, yeah. like high school. Like, mm -hmm. like it was just starting. Yeah. Yeah. Or like I don't know, we were just learning about. Yeah, it. we were like, just saying true. true. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, that's one of the goals, you know, try to get the kids to be knowledgeable and be able to speak on it, you know, and really kind of advocate for themselves. Um, because I mean, it's it's like you know the artist here. It's like nobody nobody can tell that story better than you. That's going through it, yep. you know. Scott Gleason in the military, you know, Louis and his family, you know, things like that, and people can come in and like we said earlier, like be like outsiders, like visitors, but. Mm. 
that shit's always going to be different. Mm-mm. Your shit's going to always be different. You know, like nobody could tell your story better than, than yourself. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like a memoir. Yeah, I've had a few instances where people want to come in, like people want to buy their way into things. It's just like, dude, like, come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. We've been we've been in this city for how long? Yeah, it's like, dude, shit like, for how long? Yeah. Yeah. it's it's frustrating. I've been man. walking around Lone Star for like what, ten years, twelve years, yep. Um, yep. Been taking pictures of graffiti for like twenty five years. Like, <sighs> been doing this. So when people tr- people when people jump in and just want to like, jump on the bike, it's just like, man, put some training, put some training wheels on for their camera and their <laughs> fucking nice lens, yeah. and they go show up, and then they go print big, and yeah, that's what I see. All the time. <laughs> that's true. That right? is, that's, that's it Snap right there. Snap off man. like two thousand <laughs> digital images, pick three out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it'd be like that, man. <laughs> hey, but that's my that's that's how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. You you print more than I do. I know. You got any books coming up? I'm broke. I need to. I need to figure. Out, need to figure out how to get money to do that. If you want to see my images printed out, send me money. Send I me need. Money. I need money. Where can we send that at? Drop your cash app. Uh, dollar sign, L E W S R L E W S R. There you go. <laughs> On this next book. <laughs> Is that real? Or people are gonna be sending money to some? Loser, loser. I don't know. Dollar I, I sign E K O S. I try. I try and make everything really easy for myself. Uh, like, come yeah, on. Yeah. I use I use web cameras. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it works. like people are always like, oh, the quality isn't that great. It's like, oh, well, I don't want it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, dog. Well, August twenty sixth, twenty twenty three. Digital Pro Lab said seven to ten. Seven to ten, 10 p.m. Yes, sir. Seven to ten p.m. It's uh, going down. Come out. Be um, It'll be a wild time. They have they they throw amazing parties. <laughs> they always have amazing drinks there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll have we'll have quite a few people. Yeah, so it'll be a lot of vendors. All right. What's a what's the app for DPL? Probably digital at Digital Pro Lab. Can you spell that out? Uh, D i g i t a l p r o l a b. Hey, you trying to you trying to give me all my spelling right now? I'm like, uh, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Spell dog, right? <laughs> If they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, E-K-O-S-R, at Echo, sir. Instagram. If they want to donate to Light Catchers? Uh, for Light Catchers, it'd be, uh, there's a link at Light Catchers 210 on Instagram. Okay. Go there, check out the kids' work, support. Uh, we're about to start the new year, new school year in September. So, yeah, we need money. <laughs> they want to get a hold of you? How do they get a hold of you? Uh, hold of me, it's Francisco Cortez 210, Cortez with an S. Well, come out. August 26, 2023. Stay out of trouble, y'all. I love y'all. Don't do anything I would do.